Great Britain doesn't so much isn't so much forced to change its attitude toward the colonies as Great Britain realizes it has an empire. And after this big war with France, which leaves England, Britain as the greatest empire in the world, the British policymakers realize the colonies actually benefit the empire, and we have an empire now, and we should govern it accordingly. So they start trying to regulate trade in the various colonial outposts of the British Empire and making sure that the benefits of the colonial trade goes to, to the, helps out the empire as a whole. Americans have been doing very well trading with not only the rest of the British Empire, primarily in the West Indies, but with the French colonies, Dutch colonies, and so on. And the thinking in England was, well, this colonial trade really should benefit the empire as a whole. So in the early 1760s, the British Empire, does, British Parliament does pass a number of laws, the Sugar Act being one, to regulate colonial trade and setting up customs collections so that trade in and out of Boston or Newport, New York, or Philadelphia will be taxed. Now, they had, back in the 17th century, uh, the Parliament had taxed all of this trade, but never bothered sending anyone over to collect it. Now, they are going to send someone to collect it. And that's really the big change. It's not a mean-spirited thing, and it's not this idea that uh, sometimes Americans have, that the British had a big war debt from the Seven Years' War, and we're going to pay it off by taxing the Americans. That's not what they were doing, and the taxes imposed on the Americans would not have come close to paying off the British war debt. What they are trying to do is make sure that the trade in the British Empire benefits the British Empire.